Hello everybody, welcome back to The Organised Mum HQ. I'm of course Gemma, the founding editor of The Organised Mum. And we are here in the UK when I'm filming this. We are in just the very beginning of the school holidays in July. And as ever, you can set your clock by it. The weather has turned. I've got a sweatshirt on today. I've got a dog behind me keeping me warm in the office. But I don't want you to rest on your laurels too soon because I want to talk to you about back to school. Now, I know that we get viewers from all over the world. So I'm trying to sort of hit this at a time when I think people are either just about to break up for the holidays, are midway through, or maybe have just started. Because this is something that the organised mum community have been asking us to produce for ages. And that is... A, back, a definitive, the ultimate, if you like, back to school checklist. So a while ago on the Organised Mum Community Facebook group, we said, look, what are your top, what are your back to school top tips? Brain dump everything in the comments and we'll collate them. The team and I will collate them and we'll pop them into, I've printed this out in black and white to try and save on printing. And um, we'll print them into an easy to print checklist so that you can print it out that you've got some proper parenting brains on your side here who have thought of literally everything so hopefully you can get to that time when it's back to school and you're not having that mad scramble so this tick list is available over on the website all of the links will be in the description below so if you need anything that i talk about know that all of the links will be in the description below. But shall we get started? I suggest you grab yourself a cup of coffee. I'm not gonna go through every single one. I mean, we would literally be here for a week, but I'm gonna pick out like some of the main points. Be sure to check out the printout over on the blog. Keep it with you, stick it on your fridge, and then you've got it in your toolbox when September comes around knocking on that door. So, so first and foremost, and th this is something that everybody sort of like, we, oh, how we joked over on my Instagram. Mate, if you haven't already, if your kids are broken up, if you haven't already, if they haven't broken up yet, you need to sort of like write yourself a note or something. Empty their school bags now. First thing, don't even think about it. Be your future friend. Lunch boxes, PE kits. Give the lunch boxes a really good rinse and wipe. Make sure there's nothing in there, like an old moldy apple. Same with PE kits, make sure that everything is washed. Nothing is worse than like the day before they're due to go back and you're like, oh my God, I haven't emptied any of the bags and you open the bags and there's, things have grown in there because they've been festering for weeks and weeks. So go and do it now. Make sure that when you do have a look at the PE kit, is it in good condition? Do you need to buy some more? Despite what the companies are telling you right now, you might not need to buy new kit. And you might not need to buy it new at all. If you have a little bit of an audit of that PE kit and also that uniform, it might be that you can get yourself onto the local Facebook group or selling sites locally and find like a bundle of a school uniform that is for your school. With uniform in mind, if you have school uniform bits that are logoed or are for a particular school then check your school supplier and make sure that you make a note of their last order date the date that they will guarantee that those uniform items will be in your hands in time for school starts because nothing worse than like when you log in like the, the third week in august and you realize that the cutoff date was actually the first week in august and now that kit isn't going to get you to like end of September, beginning of October, potentially. So have a look at the school suppliers website if you have specific uniform items that you can't buy like generically from a supermarket or something like that. Remember to consider secondhand options and also make sure you feed the secondhand options for people. If you have uniform that is perfectly okay, it's just been grown out of, or maybe you bought too many school jumpers, or maybe you bought school jumpers and they have never been worn. Wash them, launder them, and get them on selling sites or donate them to like local charity shops just to help people get hold of the second stand stuff so they don't necessarily have to buy new all of the time. So those are the top uniform tips. There are obviously more on the printout, things like making sure, do they need an elasticated tie? Can you teach them how to tie a real tie over the summer? And if you have kids that are just a brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new teeny teenies that are about to start school for the first time, when you are buying them things 
like shoes and jackets, make sure that they are easy for them to put on independently so that they can do that in school and they're not getting really stressed with lots of toggles and buttons and things. Think Velcro. Velcro, easy on, easy off, so that they're not sort of getting stuck whilst they're getting changed for PE. Now that's a quick rundown of the uniform top tips. So let's move on to equipment then. Now one thing that everyone, that teachers were getting involved with like literally label everything and I also my my experience as a parent yes absolutely label everything kids get excited picture the scene you remember it when you were at school like it's 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 hectic isn't it there's stuff going all over it's the end of the day and there's kids packing stuff they're just reaching for pens and they've got someone else's and all sorts gets mixed up so if you can label and name as much as you can you're going to save yourself for a massive like a load of trouble not having to root through the lost property bin because that item can make it back safely to your child and also if you have things like jackets and that sort of thing maybe necessarily don't send them in with really expensive ones because they can get lost and they can get misplaced but when you label them in more than one place, I always like to label on the actual label itself. But then if it's a jacket or something, then also label onto the actual jacket because labels can get fall off and that sort of thing, can't they? Like the little washing label. So label everything, label, label, label. I know it's boring, but there's lots of amazing solutions out there. I mean, even if you're just using a, a marker that can go through the washing machine and not get washed off all the way down to like hand sewing in lovely beautiful labels it doesn't matter what it looks like just do your best with the time and energy that you have but just try and label as much as you can and with that in mind making sure that you have duplicate items that might get lost i'm thinking water bottles I can't even tell you how many water bottles we've gone through in this family they just get discarded on the playground you've forgotten about you put your water bottle down you go for a running race and all of a sudden you've forgotten then the whistle blows and you're back in at school so have more than one you can pick them up really cheaply on places like amazon the pound shop that sort of thing again no need to invest in anything that's really expensive here know that they are almost semi disposable because kids will lose them make sure you just check as well the school stationery equipment supply list like what is it they actually need do they need like a pencil case full of rainbow highlighter pens or are there specific things that you need to spend your money on and also space and also thinking of weight as well all of that extra stationery whilst it might seem like a lovely idea at the start of term it can take up a lot of space in the school bag and it can tire shoulders really easily and the last thing you want especially if you're walking to school is like carrying everybody's school bag that you're walking through otherwise you're going to get tired so check school lists make sure that you are packing them what they actually need next thing appointments and admin so again sticking to the main points there are more over on the tick list if you want to go and check it out on the website book in school haircuts so book in an appointment with your hairdresser a week or so before they're due to go back again these get booked up really quickly like i've been around my local town and there are queues outside the hairdressers and the barbers of like parents trying to get their kids haircut the weekend before they're due to go back so be your future friend and book in an appointment if you go and see someone regularly just to get their back to school hair trim same for things like hearing tests eye tests just to make sure that the you know, kids are set up and ready to go before they start school especially if they are brand new that's really a good idea just to get an eye test that sort of thing just get it booked in now before the mad rush at the end and shoes if you go to a shoe shop like i think in, in the uk it's clark's shoes isn't it if you go and get your feet measured at the shop sometimes you actually have to book an appointment and these appointments get booked up really quickly if you're going to be buying online though then it's really worth investing in a foot measurer and you can get that you can keep it at home and you that you're always getting the right size shoes for your kids so thinking about things like appointments dentists hairdresser opticians that sort of thing to make sure you're all set and ready to cut, go by the start of the new term make sure as well that you have a look at the school calendar make a note in your diary of things like inset days special days like crazy hair day non-uniform day that sort of thing mark all the term dates down and if you need to book in childcare or anything like if you work and you need to book off annual leave try and get it in the diary as early as you can again to save that mad last minute panic like oh my god uh, half terms next week and i've not I, i've not booked annual leave like that and so just to be your future friend and just save you a little bit of stress 
And finally, we've put this in the be your future friend section. And I know it's it's horrible and we don't really like thinking about it, but if you haven't already invested one, buy invest in a knit comb. I really like the nitty gritty knit comb. Maybe you want to get some um, knit treatment and that sort of stuff, head lice treatment. I'm really sorry. I hope you're not eating. But when that email comes around, like, hi, year three parents, a case of head lice has been that dreaded email please go and check your child's hair now it usually comes through at a really inconvenient time and if you go and do the check and god forbid you find anything you've got the stuff already so you don't have to quickly rush out to the supermarket especially if it's like late at night you've just got in from work and you're like oh no, i've got to go out again so try and be, be your future friend get stuff like that in if you have got stuff like that in already just check the sell by dates on medicines and that sort of stuff and make sure that they are still in date and finally the final two for older children just encourage them to get their homework work done at the start of the holiday or at the very least don't leave it until the final sunday before because otherwise it's just going to be stressful you're going to be sort of getting on at them to make sure they finished it it's not going to be their best work because they've rushed it and finally you and the kids get back into some semblance of normality setting those alarms nice mindful bedtime you know being, being really intentional about getting to bed nice and early being your future friend a few days before term is due to start so it won't be such a shock so you can just ease yourself into it this has been a like a real whiz through of the list again there's loads more on there i've added a section up here for anything that you want to do that is specific to your child your family your school i've tried to make it really easy to print out so like it's not going to waste too much of your printer ink as you can see my printer is dying <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why i had that in the back of my mind all of the links again are down below if you've got your top tips for how to get ready for school then please pop them in the comments below and from me and everyone else in the organized mom team we shall speak to you all next time